Holy crap, does the big news keep dropping tonight? Uh, I have two huge Nintendo Switch stories I need to get out for you guys. The first is about the Switch Pro because a extremely reliable, credible leaker who just had a bunch of stuff proven true has confirmed the Switch Pro is real. Not only is he confirming that the Switch Pro, he air quotes it because it, it's not going to be called Pro, let's be honest, is real. He confirms... There's actually something interesting going on that nobody's talking about with recent Switch games. That is uh, a direct result of certain developers knowing, knowing about it. Now, before I get into this, we have two giveaways going on right now. One is for a Nintendo Switch, an Xbox Series X, or a PlayStation 5. To enter, go down in the description. You can also drop a like on the video, comment on the video, get some extra entries, all that jazz. Obviously, subscribe to the channel. You know what's up. Uh, you can also enter for a chance to win one of two copies of Pikmin 3 Deluxe. Again, comment, like, all that crap. Info down in the description. All right. This guy is at Aesthetic Gamer, formerly known as Dust Golem. For those who don't know who this guy is, this is traditionally a Capcom leaker. He is someone who told us about Resident Evil 8 long before we knew about it. He told us about Monster Hunter Rise long before it was publicly announced. Those are the two recent things that he has had all of his rumors about them, including exact things that happened in the trailers, like days before the trailers came out. He saw them, clearly, because he knew what was going to happen. We, I don't know if he works at Capcom. I don't know if he's married to someone or knows someone or whatever. Reality is this guy is connected, a proven insider who's been right on almost everything he said over the years. He replied to someone on Twitter, Pelican Food, who said, is there any Nintendo stuff you're aware of in general? And if so, are you able to share it? And he came out and said, I know the Switch Pro rumors are true. And the reason a lot of Switch games recently have been keeping their frame rate unlocked is to have an easy performance boost on it. So if you look at some recent Switch releases, there are some unlocked frame rates going on. Why is that? Because frame rates were locked before. You were getting locked 30, locked 60 in some cases, and that's it. That, that's, that's what it's been on Switch a majority of this. There's been very few games up until this year that have had unlocked frame rates. But now some games are coming that do. Now some games are out now that do recent releases. Why is that? Why is that? Well, according to Aesthetic Gamer 1, aka Dust Golem, it's because these developers already know about a Switch Pro. They know it's coming, and they know with unlocked frame rates, an instant boost when that system comes out is going to be higher FPS. That means, and confirms, the Switch Pro is a more powerful platform. It's not just a better screen. It's not just fixed Joy-Cons. If well, We hope it's fixed Joy-Cons at least. There's more performance to be had. Performance of unlocking the frame rate is an instant boost where they, where they don't have to do any additional any additional snafu to make games run better. I have never been more hyped. I don't know about you. I've never been more hyped for whatever this next Switch is. Like we've heard from Wall Street Journal. We've heard from Bloomberg. We've heard from all these different places about a Switch Pro next year. Switch this, switch that, right? It's been years of these rumors. This is the first time. I just... I'm imagining what the possibilities of this Switch Pro could be. Increased frame rate? Sure. Higher resolution? Probably. What else can be done? I don't know, man. The big debate over the Switch Pro is how far is Nintendo going to go? Shintura Furukawa talked about cutting-edge technology. What the hell does that mean? We know Nintendo factually has a contract with IGZO Displays. We know Nintendo factually is a contract with NVIDIA. So we presume any sort of Switch Pro, Switch Revision, whatever, is going to be using NVIDIA tech and is going to be having potentially a better display from IGZO. But what else? Is Joy-Con Drift going to be fixed? That's a big one for a lot of people. Are they going to finally address Joy-Con Drift? Yeah, government agencies suing them over it. There's a big class action lawsuit in the United States against them. Are they finally going to address a massive design flaw? I hope so. But those are all minor things. I mean, Joy-Con Drift's not that minor, but 
these, these are not the kind of things that people are necessarily hoping for the most. Like an improved screen, sure. You know, better Joy-Cons, sure. But what's going to be under the hood? Is it still going to be a Tegra X1? Just shrunk or overclocked? Is it going to be a new Tegra? Is it going to be the Tegra you know, X2 that got rebranded and, and used in smart cars? Is, is it going to be that? Which is built on the same technology. Is it going to end up being something based on Volta? Which is technically not cutting edge anymore. Because Ampere is cutting edge. But maybe Ampere is a little too expensive this time around. What does Nintendo have cooking? And why do so few developers know about it? Now, I, I've speculated on this before. Nintendo, even with the new Nintendo 3DS, did not trust very many developers with it. I bet you Capcom has one. Hence why Aesthetic Gamer knows about it. Dusk Golem knows about it because he is a Capcom insider. Clearly, Capcom has their hands on it. We have speculated that Monster Hunter Rise clearly is going to be taking advantage of it. And one thing we're going to see is better frame rates. I'm just throwing out there that now more than ever do I believe these rumors. Because Dust Golem isn't just anybody. He is a leaker I have covered for years. He is a leaker that has been right every step of the way. Dozens, dozens of so-called rumors. At this point, when they come from him, it's almost a report. We'll still call it a rumor, but he says he knows it exists. He knows it's real. He knows that recent games having unlocked frame rates are to take advantage of that new tech whenever Nintendo drops it. This makes it sound like that March that I've been theorizing, that I've been speculating, sounds real to me. Does it sound real to you? It should, at this point. Now, it's okay to be, you know, reserved. It's okay to hold back. It's okay to just ignore that what Shintaro Farakawa said, that they're working on new Switch hardware. That's cutting edge. It's okay to ignore all of that and just wait for an announcement. It either comes or it doesn't come. And I'm not here to deter you from buying a Switch the rest of the year. If there's enough games currently on Switch to justify your purchase, do it. I own a Switch. If I didn't, I would buy one this holiday just to play Age of Calamity. So, I'm not saying to hold off, because we don't know. For sure. 1,000%. But what we do know is that where there's smoke, there's fire. And there's been a hell of a lot of smoke around a Switch Pro. A hell of a lot of smoke. So I, I'm i choosing to, to hop, fully hop on the train. I've been kind of wishy-washy on if I should be on it. I, I cover all of the reports and all the news on it. But internally, I'm like, yeah, but is Nintendo really going to do it? Or is Nintendo going to rest on the Switch for three more years? I'm starting to come around. I'm starting to believe. Guys... We're getting a Switch Pro next year. It's finally coming. It's finally happening. I hope it's, a, you know, I want it to be a huge power leap, but it's probably not going to be. But it's going to be something. And something that even gives better frame rate is better than nothing. I'll take that to the bank any day of the week. I am Nathaniel Rubble Jantz from Nintendo Prime, and I'll catch you in the next video.